Hey, my wonderful budgeting bosses. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Juan again with another cash stuffing video. Um, you guys, today is our we, today we'll be doing our second check of October. So this is me and my husband's, of course, and we have a total of fifteen hundred one thousand five hundred and sixty-six dollars. Yay! Um, to cash stuff. Um, and I explain that as I go. So if you like but budgeting, cash stuffing, food, cooking, and things like that, that is all what my channel is about. I have fun doing all of those things over here. So I hope that you hit that subscribe button and join me doing that as well. Um, also, if you know anybody else who like things like that, make sure you send them some of my videos so that they can also subscribe and become a boss as well. So yes, Let's get into it. Let's start with our business tip of the day. Since this is a regular cash stuffing video, you know I do my business tip of the days in these videos. Savings challenges and other videos do not get business tips of the day. So today our business tip is going to be about mental blocks. And mainly I want to talk about physical ones. And the reason why I want to bring this one up is because I feel like I've been pushing all those bricks and knocking them all down. I'm talking about the fears you have in business or fears you have to keep you from starting a business. Um, so like the major one that I was dealing with this year was just putting myself out there, putting my face out there, putting my voice out there, putting all my flaws and all just my complete 100% authentic self out there as far as as far as me personally and mainly for you know building a brand in my business so i thought that this would be a good one because i feel like a lot of people we talk about this but we talk about the mental state which i do as well but for, for this specific tip we're talking about the ones that keep you from actually growing in your business as far as physically for example reaching out like when you're a one woman show or one man show, reaching out to, you know, other, you know, other businesses like podcasts or, you know, partnering up with other people, contacting people, letting them know who you are, letting them know like, hey, I want to do this, like get on their platforms is mainly what I'm trying to go with here. Getting on other people's platform and talking about yours. So mainly in the podcast realm, because podcasts now are a really trendy and hot thing, I would say, I would suggest either getting your, whoever's on your team or yourself, if it's just you, that you schedule in periodically, you know, interviews, especially interviews centered around events that you're doing or centered around something huge that you're doing in your business. Or, you know, during the down months, you can do an interview to help you know, attract new customers and clients um, and get yourself and brand out there. So that's the business tip of the day is to get yourself out there and get over that mental block that's keeping you and your business from being successful because sometimes you're not opening your mouth or you're not thinking about, you know, reaching out to interviews, interviewees or podcast um, platforms or anything like that, going live, stuff like that. Um, yeah, do those things. I say going live because that is a part of, you know, showing up and showing yourself and being yourself um, and, you know, having to put yourself out there. But I also want to really hit big on the podcast and the interviews um, and news outlets because those are the ones that we kind of overlook because we think we're too small um, and not deserving. But they uh, those are two avenues that help um, a broader, broader range of uh, eyes to get on your business. So look beyond social media and live. Go to podcasts, go to people who do interviews, um, go do, you know, seminars, go anything you could do, news station, um, press release, things like that. Because that is one thing that I am trying to start stepping into in my business and, and um, you know, add that element to my business now that I've done a lot of things other other things behind the the scenes. Now it's time to me. It's time for me to keep up in the ante and keep pushing that uncomfortable envelope 
so that I can see the results that I want to see in my business. So I hope this tip helped you all. So let's get into the cash stuffing because I know this is what you all are waiting for. But if you like the business tips, please comment below because I do want to hear from you all. Put your questions in the bottom or your statements of things that you may want me to address in my business tips of the days will be very interactive and fun. I would love to do that. I would love to answer some of you all's questions from the comments and let those be a part of my business tip of the day. Whoever posted the comment, I will also put you in the video. So yeah, I would like to know from you all, like put your questions in the bottom. This could be about anything and I will put you on my channel when I answer your questions. Let's, I would love that guys. So let's get into the counting. So I have my withdrawal slip. These are available on my Etsy shop. I haven't been put, putting them on my videos lately because I lost them and I found them. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, this is the one of mine. They come in a set of two. You get two colors of your own choice. And I love those. And they come with a pen as well. They come with this um, ultra fine point UV resistance waterproof um, from all that is all purpose from shadow shuttle alert. So that permanent marker and it's ultra thin, like I said, it comes with that, even though I didn't use it on this one today because I didn't have it in the car with me. So like I said, we have a total of $1,566 that we are cash stuffing today. And this 220, I gotta make change for it. So that's, and that's actually, actually we're gonna be stuffing a total of 16, $1,606 because of this extra 40 that I have um, that I need to break up. So we have 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 900, 151, so that's 150, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80. Wait, what did I say? Okay, I entered it in wrong. Let's try this again. This okay, 20, that's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900. 150, so we have a, we're actually going to be cashed up in 1,666 because I forgot I did add another hundred dollars in there. So yeah, I added a hundred dollars. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead. Like I said, you can order these cash for drawer slips to the teller or bank in my description box on my Etsy shop. You get a pack of two, you put your colors and it also comes with this lovely pen. Okay, let's get right into the cash stuffing because I am like all over the place. First, I want to make change out of my savings challenge binder for this 20. I need four tens or at least some fives, whatever. Let's connect this thing out. So I know I got some tens because my scratch and save book is full. Let's see if I can find some tens. One, two, three, four. That's 40. Yep. One, two, three, four. And we'll just put that with the tens. Okay, we put that back. Because this thing is full, y'all. I can't wait to count like the progress we made at the end of this year for that one. But like I said, that's in savings challenges. So you won't see that into my next video. Let's get into it. Of course, you already know we're going to do the coins. Let's bring him on out. That's Bluey and Indigo. We have quite the coins here. 
quite the coins. Quite the coins. There's some more in here that fell. Okay. And if there's any more of that, I'm not going to dig for that. So let's put this in. But yeah, I can't wait to see the questions you guys end up putting in um, the comments about, you know, pretty much anything for the business tip of the day. I can't wait to see what you all ask or talk about. Um, Indigo holds all the pennies. So that's what I just put in there. And then my big piggy bank, which is Indigo. No, Bluey. Bluey, I mean, holds all the quarters, nickels, and dimes. And away they go. Like, okay, Indigo is getting really heavy. He is really heavy. And I think there's some silver ones in there by the state, but he's really heavy, y'all. He's getting pretty full. And then Bluey is getting pretty full himself. So, yeah, they go back over there where they belong. Okay, to the fun stuff. Cash envelopes first, obviously. There's some gum. Cash envelope for myself. It is going to be in the bank. I am not taking that out. For all my labels have come off, so I don't know who. Oh, this is my son. He gets $10. My daughter Genesis gets $10. My daughter Emery. Oh, I need to be checking these off, y'all. Y'all know how I get. So I have my tracker on the side. So we did Jen, Joss, Emery is getting $30. That's a 20 and a 10. She's getting 30. So she has 30. Groceries has some left over. So I'm going to take that out. It's going to go towards our savings challenges. I'm going to put that over there. It's $6 going towards savings challenges. Grocery today is getting $230. So that's 200, a 20, and a 10. $230 for groceries. Okay. Dining out is getting, which is eating out, it's getting $20. That's the 20. Family Fun Entertainment is also getting 20. I really like these envelopes, you guys. I don't see a lot of people using them on YouTube, but I really love these envelopes for my cash envelopes. Like, I just, I don't know, I just love them. So I'm gonna have to get some more after a while because these are getting flimsy. And I can't remember, I, th I know, I think I bought them off Amazon. And if I can find, when I find the link, I will add it to my Amazon link. Because, um, you guys, I do have an Amazon storefront um, where you can purchase similar products that I have that I've purchased in the past on my store and my favorites. So that will be in the bottom of this description. So we got that and that. Now let's get our business binder out. YouTube is not getting anything. Etsy is not getting anything. PTO, not anything. Investing. My investing, no. My husband investing. No, this is his education. So my husband's education is getting $20. It's getting a 20. He currently has... 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, $234. And we're adding a 20. So now he has $254. I can't believe that 50 didn't catch me slipping, y'all. 
Okay. My husband's work extras is also getting 20. It currently has 20, 40, 60, 75. It's getting a 20, now it has 95. Okay. My coaching business is getting 125. And all of this goes towards my marketing. And it currently has, let me see, it's not even arranged correctly. Let me see if I can count it. 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 46, 47, 147. And we're adding 125. So that is a 120 and a 5. 100, a 20, and a 5. So now it has 100, 200, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 71, 172, 172, if I counted that correctly. All right. 172. No, it should be more than that, shouldn't it? Okay, I'm using the calculator. No, oh, yeah, 272. Okay, that's right. One, now I still got to use the calculator. 1, 250, 20, 40, 60, 80. See, I counted that all wrong. 100, 100, 200, 250, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. 372. Ooh, y'all, I was so off. $372. I'm glad I recounted that. So that's great. $372. Okay. Travel isn't getting anything. My dance business is getting something today because I have to redo my business banking account. So I took all the money out and it's right here. And well, not all the money out. Pretty much this is the payments that I got received and it needs to be. I'm going to stuff it until I get my business in line for it. The My um, business banking with this account because it's like all out of whack. So I'm in the process of getting it all fixed. So it has 41 in there and it's getting a total of $641. That's six one hundred one two three four five six forty-one two twenties 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 41, 220s, and a $1 bill. So now it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, $682, which this will be going to the bank. It will not be in here long, okay? Nothing for business taxes, nothing for future ventures. All right, that's it for the business binder. Let's go to our luxury binder. Kids activities, which go in here, is getting $20. I need to change this to like kids activities, not school stuff. Because school stuff and kids activities can all be one. So for now, it's going in here. So that's getting $20. Date night, ooh, yes, date night is getting something. Date night is getting $50, that's a 50. And it currently has 16, so now it has 50, 55, 60, 65, 66 dollars for date night. Okay, gaming and computer. Let me stretch out date night. Gaming and computer is getting a $20 bill. It currently has 110, it's getting a 20. So now it has 100, 20, 25, 30, $130. And that's it for my luxury binder. For my high priority binder, 
my galaxy binder. Now we're into emergency. It is getting $25. It has 10 and it's getting a 20 and a five. Now it has $35. We are trying to get this one bound up, but it's kind of an awkward time of year. So we have been putting a lot of the money in the Christmas and vacation. So we haven't been able to really chunk change our emergency like I wanted to. Tithing is getting $45, two 20s and a five. So it has 45 because we did just tithe. So we are pretty much starting over. We tithe once a quarter. Okay. Home projects has fifty one hundred fifty. We're gonna use the calculator. Twenty one fifty plus twenty one two three thirty five ten fifteen sixteen two hundred and sixteen dollars. Did I count that wrong? Yeah, I counted that wrong earlier. But anyway, um, and it's getting a total of $25 today, a 20 and a 5. So now it has $241. And there's more in there than I thought. I counted that wrong earlier as I was preparing for the video. Home maintenance has 20 and it is getting $30. So a 20 and a 10. So now it has 50. Car maintenance has 20 and it is getting $30 as well, a 20 and a 10. Now it has 20, 30, 40, 50 as well. Okay. Kids clothing has 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. And it is getting... Let's see. Twenty dollars. So that's a twenty dollar bill. So now it has twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy five dollars for kids' clothing. Hubby's clothing has twenty one, two, three, four, twenty four dollars. And it is getting $20 as well, $20 bill, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now it has $44 in his clothing. My fashion gets nothing. Health is getting $20 and it's getting two tens because I had to, I forgot the stuff for it. So I had to take something from another account to do it so hence there is the two tens for him now it has twenty dollars have y'all ever like budgeted and then just forgot one and then didn't want to do it over so you just took something out of the other one because you already went to the bank so yeah i had something that was thirty dollars going into a bank two accounts that had 30 so they got a 20 and 10 so what i did was just take two tens from each and made it 20 and the other ones got 20. so yeah that's what i did to fix that problem Beauty is getting nothing. Guys, self-care is getting nothing. Jostin's savings account has 120, 46, 120, 40, 60, 80, 5, 6, 7, 8, 188 dollars. He is getting a total of ten dollars in his savings account today. He's getting a ten dollar bill. And I'm gonna use the calculator to ensure that I count this right. He has a hundred. 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 
10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now he has $198. In his savings. Okay. Genesis has been spending hers. But she has $3. And she's getting a 10 as well. So now she has 13 Well, Jocelyn really has a lot of money. Because he did some chores for the neighbors. And they paid him for it. So I put it in his savings. And let him spend some of it. And yeah, as you can see, he gets... He got paid a lot. <laughs> I would, like, I could take that as a job. But, yeah, he doesn't do it anymore. It's just only when they went on a trip. But, anyway, so Emery's savings is getting $20. And it has 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 And it's getting $20, just a $20 bill. Now it has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 110. Okay, my savings is getting nothing. My husband's savings is getting $20. He has 50, 71, 2, 3, 73. He's getting 20. So now he has 50, 70, 90. One, two, three. He has $93. Okay. So that's it for those. Um, and I think that is it for this video. Yeah, we got the savings challenges next. So you guys, that is it. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. Don't forget to look, don't forget to comment below of any questions you may have about the channel or about any business tips that you want to see on the videos coming up. That would be so much fun, you guys, and I would shout you out. So with all that being said, stay tuned for more of the cooking videos. I hope you guys are enjoying the cooking and the food videos. Let me know what you think about that over there. And if you have still not subscribed, make sure you do that today. And again, guys, I love you and thank you for the support. Y'all have a good one. See you in the savings challenges. Bye.